Hey, Zomega here. So I noticed yesterday on my, uh, when I was shooting my vlog, uh, um, the wheel wasn't spinning very freely. Uh, even right now it's not spinning very freely. But, uh, um, it's because, and then uh, I looked online, like, what could cause a sticking caliper, and it's, uh, if these guide pins are, uh, look like this. <laughs> so I, I just took this out. I remember I greased this when I did, a. Uh, when I um, changed the brake pads like a year ago or something and it's like this already so um, yeah so if you have a sticking caliper this may be the problem uh, this is this is only one of them though I think there's another one up here but um I'm just gonna do this one first and we'll see if it f helps the problem um, yeah cuz you can see I, there's some red grease on there I know I changed I know I added some grease to this but uh, it looks like it's already gone um, it's probably just because of the conditions I ride this bike in it's, it's way rough you know um, yeah, so anyway, to get to this, you have to get a, you have to have a flathead screwdriver with the, um, and take this plug out. This plug is like over this hole here, in front of this pin. And uh, it's to keep dirt out and stuff, but I guess dirt still gets in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up with the wire brush, grease it, and then stick it back in there, and hopefully, hopefully it'll fix my sticky caliper problem. Okay, so I think that may have been the culprit. Uh, it took me a while to get it this shiny. Um, I just used a drill with a wire brush on it, but uh, it's still not totally shiny, but it's definitely a lot smoother than it was before. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that fixes the problem. So all I have to do is add some grease to it. I got right here, ass. Yeah, so I was just installing a brake and clutch levers on my other bike, so today is a, a lubrication day. All right, it's greased up and ready to go back in. So hopefully this fixes my problem. Okay, so I've kind of gone a step further. Actually, I think that uh, I think that guide pin doesn't really do anything on the bottom. But um, so this is my first time taking this apart like this. Um, if you take the pads out, if so, um, if you take the pin out, the pads just come right out. And then um, and then the, and then you can take the caliper apart. Um, all you have to do is pull this out from here. See how these uh. So see how the the guide pins, this one and this one, the little rails, um, they just they go in together like that. So um, it looks like it's pretty dry. Um, it's got lube in it. It's, it's got grease, but uh, it's not a whole lot. So I'm gonna go clean off the old grease and then put some new grease in. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. Okay, so there it is. I cleaned them off. They're actually in pretty good shape. Um, sort of, kind of. I, th I think I need to clean them a little more. But uh, So you can see here that um, it's not gold anymore. It's kind of gold and then it turns black here. I think this is where it's kind of binding. So I want to hit that up with a lot of grease. Um, other than that, it, it seems like it's in good shape. There was grease on there, but it's like old grease. It's kind of old and dry and crusty, so I'm thinking that might be the problem. So I'm going to grease the crap out of that and stick it back in. And we'll see how it does. Okay, so what I've noticed is that when you slide these pins in, like uh, the, the boots, the boot here, it just it just wipes all the grease off of the pin, so uh, it's not really helping. Um, so what I did is I, I packed the these the orifices, the holes here where the guide pins go in, and I um, I packed it with grease. So hopefully that'll be good enough. Um, also, when you put this back in this uh, this rubber part here, it, it goes in the cal uh, the bracket, not the caliper part, um, because there's a little place that like it sticks and do so okay so there's probably too much grease in there because it's like it's trying to push itself out but see how easily it moves now it's like moving on its own that's what you want you want the caliper to return you don't want it to like get stuck so I think that solves the problem well I'll just put it back together okay got it back together so uh, I don't know it's still Seems to have a little bit of drag in it, but uh, I think it's better. Um, the only thing left to, that I could do is to just uh, change the seals on the piston. Is what I'm thinking. It could be like the the cylinders are like really uh, they're really worn out or something. It's got some dirt in there. I've never had this happen to any of my bikes before, uh, but this is the one I ride the roughest. So in the roughest stuff. So. 
probably why. Uh, yeah, it's still kind of sticking. It spins. So, I don't know. So, those are some things that you can do if you got a sticky, uh, if you got a sticky, um, uh, brake caliper. Alright, get this bike out.